Hello and good morning, everyone. Today's October 22nd. Happy Thursday. Hello, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good, good morning, good teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. I hope everything is going well for you guys. Hope your classes are going well. Remember, if anyone wants to schedule time, if you have some questions about anything, of course, in this class, or if any uh, doubts that you have in other classes, if you want to schedule some time, feel free to let me know. Um, today, uh, I want to do a couple of things. Uh, a few of these things we tried to do yesterday. We'll try again today. The first is I want to give one more opportunity to those who have not had a chance to participate in last Friday's speaking activity. If they want to participate, they may do so. I know that, um, I'm, and I'm looking here at the list, uh, Mirna Jacqueline uh, was, we've been chatting back and forth. She's been having some problems accessing the internet. I don't see her now currently here in class unless I'm missing missing her. So I wanted to give her a chance to speak. Is, is there anyone else that would like to participate that has not participated in last Friday's speaking activity? And I don't see Mirna. We're going to have another speaking activity tomorrow. OK, so I would recommend. Uh, you know, trying to be here on time, making sure that your equipment is working, making sure that your phone or your microphone on your computer isn't is working. If anybody is having problems with their technology, with their equipment, or you just want to experiment and try different things. OK, uh, if you want to contact me, we can do that. Or if you want to get together with a classmate and test your equipment, it's always a good idea to uh, to do that when you're having some problems and you're trying to find a solution. If anyone is having problems with technology, we need to discuss it outside of class. All right, so again, don't let things go. Don't put it off. Uh, as soon as you're having issues with connecting, right, and you're you're not sure what to do, and you're not, it's not working, then we need to find a solution. Okay. And the only way to do that, I think, the best way to do that is to experiment and find out exactly what kind of equipment you're using, how you're using it, and uh, see if we can find a quick solution. OK, so it's very important, right, that you're reaching out to me if you're having some technical difficulties, All right? Especially in this class where we depend a lot on audio, especially the microphone. OK, so experiment if if it works better using your phone for the speaking activities because maybe the connection is better or whatever, then fine, you know, do that. But uh, find what works for you, for your uh, the type of connection that you have, the type of equipment that you have. And again, make sure that you try to find a quick solution if you if you can. OK, and, and just let me know if we need to discuss it outside of class. All right, I don't see uh, Mira in class. There she is. Mira, hello. Uh, would you like to try your microphone? Is your microphone working? You can hear me, teacher. I sure can. OK. <laughs> All right, great. So let's let's do this. Um, we'll give Mira a ch chance to participate uh, this morning for uh, re for making up the speaking activity from last Friday. If there's anyone else that wants to speak, that wants to make up this grade, uh, just raise your hand. OK, um, raise your hand if you want to participate and uh, you certainly can do so. All right. So uh, this prompt, I'll read the prompt twice. I'll give you one minute to prepare a response. Then you'll have one minute to provide a response. And you're encouraged to take notes in preparing for your response. OK, here is the prompt.
Do you prefer finding information by reading books or searching the internet? Use details and examples to support your explanation. I'll read it again. Do you prefer finding information by reading books or searching the internet? Use details and examples to support your explanation. Okay, I'll give you one minute to prepare your response. Okay, uh, Mirna, go ahead and offer your response, please. Uh, Mirna, Jacqueline, go ahead and provide a response, please. If you want to, there you go. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, because in the books is more, they have more information, but in the internet it's more fast. They have more opinions about one topic and um, they have more um, fuentes <laughs> of information. So I think I prefer internet because yeah, it's more fast and I have found more easy the information. And in the books I need to to search a book or maybe more of one book and I think it's more difficult but yeah the, the book have um maybe all have... right great thank you okay thank you Jackie <laughs> all right thank you all right um I don't see any other hands raised so we'll go on to the next activity um I wanted to I had a song for the day yesterday and I think it was from Maria De La Cruz, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the song for the day was Passengers Let Her Go. And I'm looking, and the list is, and I don't know if Maria's here this morning. Maria De La Cruz, was that your song that you uh, suggested? Suggested, Maria? I'm here. Uh -huh. Was that your song that you suggested? Uh, no. Or no? D did you request <laughs> the song Let Her Go? Uh, did you like it? Because I love it, the song. Uh, okay, so you did request it, yes? I just want to make sure I have the right person, the right. Did you request it? Because you were cutting out. I just want to, want to make sure that you requested the song. So, Maria, did you request the song? I think, yeah. Maria, did you request the song? Uh, can I say something? Sure. Maybe a synonym. Maybe uh, uh, maybe if I say if you wanted that song. Um, uh, okay. So Maria, did you want? Did you list the song for us to play? Did you want us to play the song? So I, I, I see that your phone, your microphone is muted. So just uh, open it up and leave it open. Do you, did you want us to play this song? Is this your song? I can't. Okay, maybe she's having some problems, but we'll go ahead and listen to the song. And I'm going to assume that Maria de la Cruz requested this song and I'm going to share the link with you guys to open up a Word document for the lyrics. And so let's go ahead and I'll share these. Let's see here. All right, in the chat, 
this will take you to a Word document that you should be able to open and see the lyrics to the song. So if you're on a computer, go ahead and try to open up the Word document. And we'll listen to the song here. And as we're listening to the song, I'd like for you to choose a line like we've done in the past, one that either you're not sure about or just a line that you like that is that has some meaning for you. Select the line and in the comments, write out what you think that the meaning is. Okay, try to find an example of figurative language, right? And and provide an alternative meaning. What does it mean to you as you listen to the song and you're choosing your lyric? Write it out in your own words. See if you can paraphrase what that line means. Okay, let's listen to the song. Let's take a look at the Word document. It's a nice song. Uh, select a line that you like that stands out. If you can offer your own meaning. What does it mean to you? The line. What's the uh, general message? This is a, a nice song, um, Maria. I, I know you're having problems with your microphone, but if you can speak, if you can let us know why you chose this song or why you like this song, feel free to jump in. And I I like the song because I think it's very beautiful and it relaxes me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it Most is. Most people associate it. Go ahead. Most people associate these songs with with having lost a person. They love it, and was how do you say infidelidad? Uh, what's how do you guys say that? What's the word for that? It's a, it's almost the same word in English. Cheating. Okay, well, cheating, that's that's another. We also have the same word, infidelity, but it also, yeah, it means cheating. Okay, anything Anything else? Anyone uh, else? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> but I, I really, I really did the song to have a lot of love to one from someone who died that... I really won't be able to have my my side one once more. But many times as I I really sad, this this song makes me happy and I don't I don't know why, but I like it. Yeah, it's it's uh it is very relaxing, just the music itself, right? And the lyrics, the the melody. The verses are really nice, and the words to the the lyrics to the song are really uh, they're really strong words, right? They're very. What, what's the and this is for anyone. What's the general message of this song? Do you think? Like, if if you could just sum it up in a phrase, how would you how would you sum up the overall meaning of the song? Go ahead. You don't, you don't value the things when you have them, just when you're missing for them. Yeah. Anyone else? Example: the people don't value the things that they they do and or have, so um, they value when they last. Maybe. Absolutely. 
Very good. Anyone else? What's this make you think of when you hear this song overall? I'm looking at uh, Sigrid's comment here. She chose only hate the road when you're missing home. She says sometimes we realize that we really miss something when we no longer have it. Right. It's it's like showing so maybe sometimes we don't always appreciate the things we already have, right? The people in our lives, our family, our friends, our classmates, our workmates, right? Sometimes we, we forget to appreciate what we have, right? This is, um, a, this is a pretty good meaning overall, right? This is very important. Um, let's see. Only miss the sun. All right, anybody else want to select a, a line? Or anyone want to talk about a, a specific line or use of figurative language in this in this song? I think um, in the the part of the song that it says only only you need the light when it's born in love. All right. So um, what does that mean um, for you? Well, burning love, uh, it's like when there's no light or I don't know. Can you, can you guys think of a, a time, like a situation in your past, an experience where this line would have some meaning to, to that situation? You only need the light when it's burning low. Can you think of a situation in your own lives that you want to share that would be similar to what this means. What do you think? Teacher. Yes. What is the translation of burn, burning love? love? So burning low would be like, think of a, a candle flame, right? A flame of a candle. So you can say that the flame is burning low would mean that the flame is really, really, it's almost burning out, right? So if you can imagine, you know, sometimes flames burn high, right? Sometimes they burn really low. And the, the risk is that the flame will burn out. And so this is a figurative uh, way of saying something burns out. What could this mean? Well, it could mean that a, uh, a love relationship is over, a friendship is over, right? Something that was once good no longer exists. Okay, so it's uh, when something burns out, you could also say like, oh, I'm burned out, right? I'm burned out from work. I'm burned out from school. I have a lot of homework, right? So this phrase of burning out can apply it's to like those cases. Over. Sorry? Yeah, it's just it's like almost over something that is almost over. Yeah, something that's that's almost over when it's burning low. When it burns out, it is over. And so in this case, it sounds like you need the light when it's burning low. So what do you think? What would be a literal meaning, a situation where you need the light when it's burning low? For example, it can be reflected when you almost over with your relationship. So you, you start thinking about the, the things that you could be like ever, like, like you could do to we don't end that relationship. I don't know. All right. And what 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 about the part where it says 
you only need the light. How would that fit into that situation? I think that it's like uh, you need something that makes you feel better. Uh, I think that that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. You need something that makes you strong and make make you makes you feel feel comfortable and and yeah, I think uh, that's the meaning of the only need the light and when it's burning low with you also you already said that so i don't have anything to say <laughs> can you good uh -huh. Do, can you think of an example of what you what you just explained like um it can be something from your experience or just a just just a, a, a maybe an example of a situation where this line applies to that situation any ideas mm -hmm uh maybe when you uh when you are sad or when you broke up with your uh boyfriend or girlfriend or anything mm -hmm. maybe you need some uh you need uh someone to stay with you and uh bueno eh que te apoye no sé cómo se me olvidó mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh, hi, uh you need something uh you need someone to to makes you know that that person loves you and and yeah and maybe you don't value that person but when you are feeling awful uh, that's the moment when you realize what you have and and you are uh, needed something <laughs> yeah i mean i think one of the most common examples would be yeah your your boyfriend or girlfriend you're having a hard time right and so you're feeling low. So sometimes burning low can also mean feeling low and feeling low can mean that you're feeling sad. You're upset. You're sad because maybe the relationship is rocky. Maybe you're having problems with the relationship. So what do you do? You need the light. You ask your friends, you go, you turn to your friends, right? And ask them, talk to them and they um, they will make you feel better hopefully right your friends will be there for you and they will be talking and helping you through this difficult situation you only miss the sun when it starts to sn snow it's pretty that's what do you think about that the only you only miss the sun yeah go ahead it's when you don't appreciate the moment they appreciate that's right. And because maybe go ahead. For example, right now it can be raining, but I'm like, uh, I'm not like watching it. I'm not enjoying it. So when in a lot of time it's not raining, I'm like, uh, I want to like the rain again, but yeah. I didn't appreciate it in that moment. Right. Right. And I think the strongest line of the whole song, and they repeat it a lot. Only no. You only only know you love her when you let her go, meaning sometimes you have to break up before you realize how much you love the person, right? Sometimes it's a hard lesson, right? Hopefully you don't have to go through that, but sometimes that happens where you break up with someone and then you realize how much you really cared for the person, how much you really love that person. So yeah, really strong lyrics. This is a great song, uh, not only from the music standpoint, it's very calming. It's interesting because the music is really calming and it's a nice melody, but the words are really, really strong. It really grabs you. And there are a lot of examples of figurative language, burning low, right? Uh, you need the light. That's, all, that's a good example of figurative language. Staring at the ceiling in the dark. That's an interesting line. Staring at the ceiling in the dark. What is ceiling, teacher? What is ceiling? If you're in your house, you could look straight up. And if you're inside your house, you probably will see your ceiling. Your ceiling is just above you. El techo? Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh. <laughs> right? And we have we have another word that's related. The roof. The roof is outside the house. 
right? So we have a roof. And then we have the ceiling. The ceilings inside the house. The roof, R O O F, is outside the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the line because love comes slow and it goes so fast. I think yes. they say sa the same for dreams. Uh -huh. Dreams, right? Um, what does that mean for you guys? Love comes slow, but it goes fast. Uh, I think that is like, uh, well, for many persons, the, uh, it's hard to them to find love because I don't know, they are like insecure about themselves. And when they finally find the person who they love or something, uh, you, you, well, uh, uh, the per well, people say that when you are enjoying something, uh, something uh, the time goes so fast. And when you are not enjoying something, the, the time is so slow. So I think that when you love someone, it's, it's when you are happy and you are enjoying that, that time and it goes so fast. Mm -hmm. it, it's over. It, I don't know. That's it, I think. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for some people, Maybe they don't, it's hard for them to trust people, trust a, a partner, and maybe it takes a while for, for someone to get to know you, right? And so maybe that's a slow process, but then when you break up, it feels like it goes pretty fast, right? Because maybe it's one day to the next, and then you have problems or whatever. So yeah, that's... Teacher. Yes. And another thing is, that, for example, there there are people who don't understand that these people are monotonous. Are not monotonous. Ah, so, okay. So, yes. so can can I feel in the people like a little time? But no, I don't know. We are we are sociable people, so we cannot be with the only a person in all the life. So we have to understand that. Yeah, I mean, everybody's, yeah, everybody's different and, you know, uh, some people want to be monogamous, others don't. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really finding that right person for you, finding a partner, yeah. right, that you can relate to, that you have common interests. And I think this song really speaks to that challenge, right, that sometimes it's hard to find, maybe find that person. Right, that you have some things in common with, that you get along with, that you have the same values. And really, I think this song to me speaks to that challenge, right? That you just maybe you don't find that right partner. So in a lot of ways, it's kind of a sad song, right? As you're reading through this, right? It's all right. Very good. Great. It's a great song. Uh, Maria, thank you for recommending that. Um, Maybe the word that I was using, recommend or request. I'm going to type this into the chat. We have the word request. OK, so you can request a song. I don't know if you've ever been to maybe like a small club and there's a, a group or maybe a DJ, right? And you go up to the DJ, or you go up to the group, say, hey, can you play this song? You're requesting a song. OK, so when I ask all of you, to f complete the Excel spreadsheet, add one of your favorite songs. I was asking you to basically request a song. So when we play your songs, we are um, we're taking requests. I am taking requests as I am choosing the songs that you requested that we want to hear in class. OK, so request. You could also say recommend. You want to recommend a song to play in class. All right, very good. Good song. Thank you, Maria, for sharing that song with everyone else. The Thanks. rest, all right, the rest of today, guys, I want to give you uh, a chance to continue working in, uh, in your groups. I want to share, though, first, 
because I'm going through some of the recordings. I haven't gone through every single recording, uh, but I want to make sure that you guys are uploading your uh, uploading your videos, your meetings, basically, right? Remember that all of your meetings, each time that you go into your uh, your groups and you're working and talking together, make sure that you're recording your sessions, and when you finish, make sure that you're uploading it to a week nine folder. This week we're in week nine, so we need a folder for all of the activities for this week. But I I came across group 13. I want to share with you group 13 because we worked together yesterday. Okay, and I know this is not the only group that worked well yesterday, but I want to draw your attention. I won't play the whole thing. But I like the interaction between the groups. And they shared their screen almost throughout the whole meeting, talking about different uh, parts of their travel recommendation. They were speaking to each other in English. I came across some that were speaking in Spanish. And it was really disappointing, right, for you. Because when you go back to speaking in Spanish, then this whole activity becomes useless, right? It really is. It's that simple. It's like, do you choose to speak in English or choose to speak in Spanish? And when one of your class, and I don't mean not knowing a word, and maybe you say a couple of words in Spanish, that's fine. That's, that's to be anticipated, right? If you're not sure what the word is. But the expectation that I have for you guys is that, you're helping each other figure out how to say certain words in English, right? If you're not sure how to say something, maybe someone else can help you uh, try, how, say that in, in English. Some of the titles of the places, of course, are going to be in Spanish, so that's fine. You can, you can name the place or the hotel in Spanish with the name of the, the hotel, the name, maybe the name of the activity. Of course, the town is going to be in Spanish, right? So there are going to be certain words that you're going to be saying in Spanish. And that's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is the informal dialogues, the informal conversations that you're having between uh, all of you. My expectation is that you're going to speak as much in English as possible and help each other. Okay, so again, please get the most out of these activities. Get the most out of these activities by trying your best to speak uh, in English. Okay, uh, it, this is a very, this is probably the most important aspect of this whole activity is you guys working together, speaking in English, preparing for your, your final presentation. So, so pay close attention to how all of your members in your team are speaking. Encourage each other. I really like Teams 13 because they, I, not only were they speaking English, not only were they sharing their screen, but I liked very much how they were open to ideas about sharing and, and everyone in the team was sharing ideas and making suggestions, okay? Again, this, this wasn't the only team. There are others as well. But, but really pay close attention to the way in which you're helping each other, that you're speaking in English as you complete the task. Now, as a reminder for this task, uh, let me open up the page here. All right. I, I have asked everyone to share the link to your Sway. And... In Microsoft Teams, you can reply to the post that I included this morning. I think some of you have already shared your link. All right, so here's the link from this morning, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so I have a few. Fernando shared his. Vanessa has as well. Yaisha. Okay, so if you haven't already, go ahead and share your sway in this post in Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to add the link to your Sway to this page right here. So remember that the travel plan, 
The idea is to create a sway that's going to include various aspects of your travel arrangements, transportation, lodging, which includes hotel, where, where you're going to stay, food, and activities, primarily those, those aspects of the travel, of the vacation. We want to include prices, and remember that we want to get the most value out of the vacation. So it's not about finding the cheapest, most inexpensive uh, hotel or food. It's, it's about finding the best value for the money. Okay, so consider that. Also consider the dates, anywhere from three to ten days. And include all that information in your sway. When you finish with the sway, when you've completed the sway, I'm going to ask that you create a presentation where you're speaking. You're presenting now your proposal to the family of four. And I would like for your team to speak from 10 to 15 minutes in total. Everyone speaking equally. But I would like for you to share screen showing your sway while you explain your proposal, your travel plan. Now, again, imagine that you're sitting in front of the family of four and your team is responsible for presenting the presentation, presenting the proposal. Again, we'll have the visual of the sway and we'll hear your voices in the presentation. If your broadband permits, I would like for you to also include the video so we can see you. It's always more dynamic if we can see the video, right? See you talking. But if broadband is a problem and it helps to turn off the video and just use the audio, that's fine also. All right, so um, I'm not giving a due date yet. Uh, I want to see after today how things are coming. I, I'm going to uh, jump into as many groups today as I can to see how you're, you're coming along. I'm going to stay online also to field questions. If you have questions, send me a, a, a message or just jump into the chat here in this room and uh, you know ask your question. But take a look at the different pieces of this, these instructions here, all right? Take these into consideration. And again, try to encourage each other as much as possible to speak in English. There are two parts to this activity. One part are the informal conversations that you're having that you had yesterday and that you're going to continue to have today. The second part is creating a separate video that now is. Uh, is where your team is going to present to the family of four the presentation using the information from the Sway. All right, any questions, guys, about what we're working on with this task? No, teacher. No. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mute my mic then and um, I will be here for questions and I'll be popping in and out some of your um, some of your groups. OK, thank you. Uh, Stefana, uh, you make sure that uh, let me know if you have any questions. You should be in group nine and um, be in the meeting right now with Paulina and Ellie. They're currently having a meeting. So if you want to exit out of this class, that's fine if you need to, but you need to be in uh, that meeting with them that's going on right now. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. All right, guys, it is 940. We'll go ahead and close class. Uh, today I wanted to give you an opportunity to continue working with your groups, and I want to stress the importance of working together, encouraging each other to speak English, uh, working on our sways. By now, most of you should have, uh, you should be very close to completing your sway. I would like to set a due date for this task for Monday. 
September 26th. All right. And this is going to include two things. It's going to re include recordings of all of your meetings that you're going to upload to the uh, week nine folder. And it's going to include a separate file, a separate video file that's going to be your presentation where we'll see your sway and we'll listen to you explain to a family of four your proposal, your travel plan proposal. Remember that uh, I'm asking you to include one location, one destination in Mexico. It can be anywhere in Mexico, but you want to provide a proposal that offers the most value. Is This may or may not be the cheapest or the most expensive. It's more about providing the most benefit for the money that the family is spending on, let's say, the hotel, the food, the transportation, et cetera, the activities. OK, so make sure that you're working together with your teams. I know that maybe uh, with technology being the way it is, some of you are having more problems than others. So even though I'm giving you time in class to complete the activity, if you have to meet outside of class, then uh, you need to do that. Uh, you need to make sure that if you're having problems connecting or or uh, meeting with your group, that you're communicating very closely with your other team mem members, right? Um, I'm going to ask at the end of the task, at the end of the video, right, that you include a or a, the a summary of who did what. All right, so. Probably the best way to do it is just an individual slide at the end of your sway listing the team members and a very short description of who did what throughout the process. OK, I just want uh, to make sure that everyone is participating and everyone's working together in these tasks. Please encourage each other to speak English. OK, even if you happen to get off topic, uh, for a couple of minutes, that's fine. I understand that. I would much rather you continue to speak English, though, right? Instead of jumping back to Spanish. All right, so uh, the last thing, please share with me your link to your sway. I understand that you're not finished, okay? But I would like today to have all of the links to the sway so that I can have them listed um, all together, right? So that I can easily go and see all of your sways, even though many of you are still not finished. I have the links for the following teams. Team number one, team number two, team number seven, and team 11. Okay, those are the teams that have shared with me so far their links. So I'm gonna ask that everyone else, please share with me your links at this time. And make sure that you share the link in a way that is only viewable, not editable, right? Which is your team members need to be able to edit this way, but not everyone else. OK, so that way we don't accidentally modify all of your hard work, right? And your sway. All right, any questions, guys, about this activity? No, okay. I really like the sways what I've seen so far. OK, I look forward to seeing how you complete these. Um, but uh, remember, only one location. You don't have to offer, you know, three or four or five different locations. No, you offer one location for your final proposal. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a brief speaking activity. It's really important to try to participate in the speaking activity so that uh, you don't have to make it up. And we'll uh, continue right at 8 o'clock. We'll start sharp at 8 o'clock. I'll read the uh, the prompt twice, just as I've done before. You'll have a minute to prepare and then a minute to respond. So uh, once we've completed that speaking activity, we'll spend the rest of class tomorrow with your uh, speak with your group work. And also don't forget your uh, interviews with your partner for your podcast for this week. Make sure that you have watched the instructions 
If you have any questions, of course, uh, ask. Let me know if you're if you're not sure what to do for for this week's podcast. All right, we'll stop there, guys. I uh, hope you have a good day today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.